What's going on guys? This is Lamerx here. Uh, today I will be showing you guys how to upgrade your RAM on the new Lenovo Y700 model. Uh, I just got this unit about a week or so ago and it's a nice gaming computer but um, it does need more. Um, there's a whole lot of different models of Y700s you can get. Uh, this particular one had 8 gigabytes of DDR4 memory and a 1 terabyte hard drive built in into it. But there's models that you can get with 16 gigs, with a 500 gig, and on and on. Um, I opted in to get a SSD for this one just because hard drives are just going to be a little too slow. Uh, especially for a gaming computer. So, uh, we'll get started with the next clip. Alright guys, now, to upgrade this unit, you do have to unscrew quite a few screws. As you can see, it doesn't have a easily, non, uh, easily accessible excuse me, um, hard drive bay, battery pack, and all that. Um, so what you have to do is, let's see, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 screws. Um, you do have to take out. Uh, keep in mind, these two right here are a lot longer um, than the rest of them. So there's very, they're very, you can basically not uh, mess these two screws up. Uh, and I'll show you it in a clip um, now, uh, just to show you the difference in the two. Um, but essentially all you do just unscrew it All right, let's see, um, yes. Now, next thing is you have to be very careful um, to open this up. What I'm using, it's a pry tool. Um, I got it just at, a, at an automotive store. Uh, it's a non-marring one, which means that it's not gonna leave marks or scuffs or anything like that on it. Now, there's a lot of different tools you can get. Uh, a box cutter works fine. You just you have to be very very careful all around the edge so on this one let me see if I can put it up all right so as you can see now the lid is kind of open now you do have to mess around with the back a little bit so it loosens up, but essentially the little, this is part of the speaker housing. So that's basically it right there. So as you can see, it's a very compact machine. Um, right here is where you get your LaRam. Mine came with two sticks of so four gigs DDR4. I am going to get uh, two more sticks tomorrow um, that are uh, combined 32 gigs, so 16 each. So that will max out this machine. Um, but let's put that back because we don't need it for now. There we go. Alright, so here's your normal hard drive. Now, they also did include an M.2 uh, port right here which houses the uh, new style SSDs, which as you can see, that's what I did. It's a 250 gig uh, Samsung. Um, so it slides in very easy and plus it holds it down in place right here for you. Um, so you don't, it's not required to have a screw. Um, the machine does not come with a little screw either. Now that's basically it to um, upgrade them. Um, yeah, there's nothing else. So when you put it back on, here's the view of the under side. 
When you put it on, you do have to start from the back and work your way forward, just so that speakers kind of grab. And again, be very, very careful with them. Got, got it. Now, as you're putting it down, push forward. And then just kind of push down on the unit. That's basically it. So you just basically tie it back, I mean, screw it back up, and that's it.